Now, funeral homes in the Eastern Cape and other provinces are reportedly running out of coffins. This comes as the second wave is peaking in that and other provinces. And numbers of infections reported recently topped record highs from the first wave. A Kwazulu Natal provincial note says that the PMMH mortuary has reached its full capacity. Let's look at the implications of this. We're joined by the president of the National Funeral Practitioners Association of South Africa, uh, Muzi Hlengwa. Mr. Hlengwa, thank you for being with us. What is happening right now on the ground? Uh, uh, good afternoon to you and the viewers at home. Uh, right now, it's a situation that we've never been uh, in as a, a funeral industry. Uh, we had been busy uh, in the previous years when the um, HIV AIDS uh, pandemic came, but it was not as the same as what we're having now. Um, normally, we will remove uh, the bodies at the mortuaries uh, in hospitals, but now we have to remove bodies in whites, in uh, 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 beds, and in passages. It's, it's terrible. It's the scenes that we have never seen before. Uh, as we speak, we have run out of uh, coffins and um, those who had to bury this week, those funerals are now being postponed for next week, waiting for the factories and suppliers to open. So it's a situation that we've never had before. Yeah. And, and when you say that um, some of the mortuaries are, are full, is it mainly Eastern Cape? But what, what are the provinces affected? Do you know? It's, it's a countrywide uh, 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 thing now. It's, it's no longer Eastern Cape. Um, uh, on, 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 on a Monday, uh, as a man who's never uh, like uh, going out and uh, 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 working on the field and remove bodies, I had to uh, take a vehicle myself and go out. Uh, since I've laid uh, some of my staff uh, off, we have to call them back to, to work because normally in December we are not as busy. Uh, so we manage to work with minimum amount of staff, uh, but we have to call them back uh, from uh, their home to come in and work. As I'm saying, uh, I was uh, uh, removing bodies myself. I had removed uh, about nine bodies in that day only that day myself you know so uh, it is terrible the scenes that we are seeing outside it's not what we are, are, are looking forward to what are the consequences for a family if somebody dies and the nearest mortuary is full um is it usually only the the coffin that's an issue and then then you have to wait for burial or can the mortuary be full in that you, you just cannot take the body and then what do they start phoning around or is there a process uh, that helps that family uh, look we we, we 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 over and above just the coffin issue we also don't have a uh, burial space we have run out of burial space so uh, funerals are being postponed for several reasons normally if the funeral is postponed we will charge the family extra for the stay of the body but this time around we are not even charging them uh, extra uh, simple because it's a situation that uh, uh, we find ourselves as a country in and um, at the end of the day um we we, we 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 have a responsibility to keep those bodies up until such time we are able to uh, bury them and is there ever a situation where a body cannot be picked up from a family home uh, because there's just not space for it uh we we we, we try um we, we try by all means there's not uh a single body that hasn't been removed because we we we, we lack uh, space. Uh, what we have done uh, uh, is that we uh, have uh, uh, made. Uh, uh, earlier on, uh, a means to have uh, extra storage uh, facility spaces, you know, so that we can uh, uh, accommodate th these bodies. Uh, but what we, we we used to do in in earlier on, we used to have a, a COVID a, a fridge and a normal fridge. But now you can't say you have a normal fridge and a, a, a COVID fridge. A fridge is a fridge that stores all bodies. It's no longer like before. Are, are mortuaries cooperating uh, with each other because of, of the problems you, you're talking about? Um, is the private sector cooperating with, with government? 
Uh, exactly. Uh, at the end of the day, if we we we, we don't have uh, the kind of control that we have in the industry, we will have problems. Uh, when my fleet is uh, a, a full, as rich as capacity, I myself will call on a neighbor and, and ask for assistance if they still have space. But as I'm telling you now, most of us are full. All right. Uh, we appreciate your time tonight. A very grim topic, but uh, important for those families. Um, as he's been saying, some of the, the uh, funerals have been delayed. That was uh, president of the National Funeral Practitioners Association of South Africa, Muzi Hlengwa.